Season 10 brings on the arrival of our most dynamic racetrack to date. Known as the Oval, this will completely change the sport as we know it forever. But before we move any further forward, let us get a reminder of who is top pick. He's in dire trouble now, and he has a mountain to climb. He can sense they're getting tired at the end of this round, and he seizes his moment. Ginger looks tired, and Oinku knows, and he's pushed forward here. Hoshi on a roll. They don't know how to handle him, and it's become apparent here in round two. And the Oinku fans cannot believe it. They've snatched the most pivotal season to date. Congratulations Hoshi and all of his supporters for winning what many would consider the most significant season in the show's history. And as the regular viewers will know, it's almost customary at the start of a season to make some announcements. So while Ginger and Piggy Smalls research this new racetrack, let us do just that. First of all, we need to highlight the macro picture after nine seasons of racing. All of the pigs have double championships. All of the pigs, that is, except one that pig. Pepe Sanchez is the only pig to win just a single championship, which means that over the next three rounds we're going to either witness a miracle or one of the other pigs is going to be crowned the undisputed champion of pig racing. Secondly, we just want to underline how difficult it is to get the pigs to turn more than 90 degrees during races. In season 8 we saw a car crash of an experiment as we tried to get the pigs to turn 180 degrees back on themselves during the race. And if you think it got magically easier in the wood, then you are a very optimistic person indeed. No, as this clip showed, it was just as difficult down here in the woodland. And before any of you say it, the reason why we couldn't continue filming and include this in the season was the simple fact that if we allowed these pigs to beeline to the food, we would never get them racing on this oval track. And finally, we want to mention that the oval track is not simply a new racetrack. It is a promise from this league that there will be substantial differences between seasons. No more small adjustments. We are going all in moving forward. Oh, and finally, finally, any pig that wins a championship moving forward will receive the fabled Henry Cup. Those of you that have been watching know exactly the reason why. And with all of that in mind, let the madness begin. Well, this does not look promising as Piggy Smalls is on top of the box and things go from bad to worse as Hoshi decides he's going to improvise rather than get on board with these new changes. That's almost a tradition at this point, leaving Bear as the de facto leader, but she is receiving pressure from Ginger and now Piggy Smalls is attacking on the inside. And as they go round the tree, Piggy Smalls has stolen the lead off Bear. Bear now struggling to fend off Ginger and Piggy Smalls. Piggy Smalls must get the win surely, but Ginger's attacking for second. And as you can see already, it's very difficult to get a clear view of the finish line from the main camera. And that is why in the future, we're going to switch over very quickly to the overhead finish line camera. And I want to assure viewers that the oval track is the only time this will happen. But if we want to see the pigs racing on a dynamic race course and observe them doing corners and bends, then this is a compromise we must make. And let us pray that the large delay for Hoshi on receiving food is all the convincing he'll need to stay on the track for the rest of the season. For the creation of the new oval track, obviously more of the woodland had to be cleared. And that meant the pigs were able to get much further into the wood than they were last season. A fact that certainly not lost on the five pigs. And they almost instantly adapted to foraging deeper into this wood. Piggies and woodland fit like a hand does to a glove. And they spend much of their lives foraging. And so keep in mind that when you're watching these five roaming around this woodland, you're getting a glimpse into the past in what would have been this sole life of a pig back a hundred, if not a thousand generations ago. Admittedly, I acknowledge that the white and red chicane boards, along with the machine cut wood, is taking away from the ancient woodland vibe somewhat. But if we can push that to the back of our minds, then you really are getting a much clearer picture about what the life of a pig actually looks like. The first downhill race of the oval track has Hoshi and Bear leading it. Hoshi pokes his nose in front and does a good corner there, but Piggy Smalls does an exceptional corner there as he overtakes Pepper and now he overtakes Ginger. Bear's looking to overtake Hoshi. We haven't seen an overtake in Bear in quite some time, so this is promising. Piggy Smalls is putting pressure on both of them, but it won't be enough. 
And Bear claims her first victory of the season, and that means she's level with Piggy Smalls in points. Hoshi manages to get some desperately needed points after his horrific start. Pepper will need to show some more ambition. If she continues this way, she'll not be able to claim her second championship. And already I can see that at the bottom of the hill on that corner is absolutely pivotal. The pigs get it right as it makes a huge difference further down the track. Hoshi managed to rotate his body very well at the beginning, but the real star was Piggy Smalls, who took a great racing line against Pepper and managed to seamlessly overtake her and gave him enough speed to overtake Ginger only a few metres later. We are seeing some unusual performances and some unusual results. Will those peculiar events continue over the next six races? All the pigs have taken a keen interest in a certain spot on the racetrack and many viewers will be expecting me to know the reason why, but this is just one of the many mysteries these pigs throw up. To my eye, there's no real difference between this spot and a spot, let's say, one foot to the left of it. In fact, in my opinion, the soil is slightly richer at the basin of the wood, not halfway up this hill. So all we can really do is speculate. Maybe these pigs have found a family of worms and decide they're gonna ruin their lives. Or, as I suspect, one or two of the pigs has taken a keen interest in this spot, bringing the others over. Either way, there's nothing really to be gleaned from this event. And so we should probably move straight on to the next race. Pepper and Ginger emerge from the box, but Pepper stopped and giving it away. Ginger out in front now. Ginger stopped. What is going on with this hill? Poshi out in front. Piggy Smalls in second. Bear in third, but Bear's taking a racing line here and cuts down the inside of everybody to take first. Piggy Smalls is yet to capitalise on anybody's mistakes as Ginger overtakes him. Bear out in front, but Hoshi providing pressure here. Everybody's going over the hill together, but it's Hoshi and Goo putting pressure on Bear. Who got it? It's Hoshi Oinku, but look, no treats at the end of the track and all of the pigs now are up in arms. They do not race for free and they're reminding the staff of that. And that is the final straw on this most shambolic event here. As Pepper can't leave the box properly, Ginger stops for a yellow leaf and the staff don't even put treats at the end of the track. Piggy Smalls is frankly sluggish in the midst of all of this. So the only pigs that can hold their heads up high are Bear and Hoshi. The oval track is already throwing up many surprises here. Oh no, this does not look good. Hoshi has started digging and that's not ideal for us here. The viewers that have watched us for a long time know that during our time on the paddock race course, the pigs all of a sudden started digging and that caused the league a lot of stress because the owners of that paddock weren't exactly over the moon that their luscious flat grass was then littered with mounds of soil. Now, of course, digging outside of this wood is not as important as the paddock was, but the concern here is that it won't stop with just Hoshi and will spread to others. And once that happens, there are no rules. The pigs will just dig anywhere they like, including the woodland track. And for a pig racing league, it isn't aesthetically the best to have mounds of soil all over your new racetrack. So let us hope that this is just an anomaly from Hoshi and nothing more. It's the straight track for this one. Piggy Smalls makes a meal out of the handicap and that gives a chance for everybody else. Pepper Sanchez takes the lead and this could be her victory, but Ginger's looking to spoil things, but trips on the step. This has to be Pepper's now and Pepper claims the win, but just look how close Piggy Smalls was to claiming second after his terrible start. Let's just list off all of the insanity we've witnessed over the last few seconds. Piggy Smalls manages to awkwardly straddle himself on the handicap, but is still only a snout away from second place due to Ginger tripping up on the woodland step, which must have been for about the 10th time she's done that. Hoshi Oinku fully crashes into that same step. There, Trotsky only manages to get fourth in the middle of all of that. Pepper Sanchez wins the race. Arguably, that is the maddest thing of all. And Bear Trotsky is leading this season after that shocking performance. This round is about as predictable as a random number generator. All the pigs love exploring, but the pig we find ourselves chasing after the most is Hoshi Oinku. Hoshi loves finding new areas to hunt for food. And right now he's found the river that's only a few meters away from the racetrack. Some seasons there is a torrent of water going down here, but recently we've had a dry spell. So fortunately for Hoshi, there's no water pushing him down. But it's yet another example of the unusual places we find this Japanese pig in. 
Door drops, Bear gets the best start, but Ginger and Hoshi are very close to it. It's a bit of a slow start, but that slow start soon finishes as the pigs speed up around that hairpin. Bear's got the best of all of them so far, but Ginger's attacking on the inside and is now trying to overtake Bear. Hoshi's been completely squeezed out. Piggy Smalls is trying to get into the mix. It's Ginger or Bear for the win here as they go over this hurdle. It looks like it could be Ginger. Yes, it is Ginger, and that means that Bear has to share her lead with Ginger, but it's nice to see a real spark here from the Russian, something that was completely lacking in Season 9 is very much present here, and the hairpin at the base of the hill continues to be a pivotal moment in these races at the Oval Track, as the cornering here is completely key. And as we can see from the eye in the sky, Ginger and Bear managed to squeeze Hoshi out. Ginger was unlikely to give any mercy to Hoshi after what happened in the Season 9 Finals. And the sharp turns and hairpins on this new track are changing everything here at the league. Oh, great. Yep, yep. That's what we feared. See, this, this is the thing with pigs. Every time, every time you think, yep, that's it. We've gone past that stage. It's just bring all more problems back. And now we're fighting. Fantastic, cool. We're, this is how mad it's got. We're fighting over who can destroy the ground. We are next to a wood that must be a Garden of Eden for these guys with so much vegetation to eat and so many different varieties that they've never tried before. And yet we're stood here digging right next to the clubhouse. You could walk into the field for crying out loud. Just why there? Why right there? <sighs> That our only saving grace right now is that it hasn't gone to, what, two other pigs bearing ginger and if we're really trying to find a silver lining here that they haven't reached the track or started digging that up, that's about it. That's, that's about as good as it gets. I pray the digging stops this round and we can just get on with the business of racing. Another straight track race and Bear and Ginger once again got a great start. Piggy Smalls and Hoshi are going to be looking to overtake though. Bear still out in front. Piggy Smalls makes that look so easy when he overtakes them all just there. And that is a dominant performance once again from the American. And if Piggy Smalls' performance was dominant, Hoshi's was one of the smartest races I've seen in a long time. Hoshi Oinku manages to go from fourth and overtake everybody including Ginger. Wedges himself across Ginger slowing her enough down to fall not to third but to fourth behind Bear. And you might be thinking to yourself, why is Hoshi picking on Ginger and not Bear? Well, Bear has a very poor track record on this woodland, but Ginger has anything but that and was a whisker away from winning the last season. So Hoshi knows that if he's going to handicap anyone, it may as well be Ginger. Hoshi and Ginger are really starting to build up a history of pushing each other on this track. And viewers, do not rub your eyes too much. Bear is still in the lead after race six. Last video we focused on the attitudes of Hoshi and Ginger. This week we thought we'd showcase Pepper. Pepper is easily the most interested in humans out of all of the pigs. And that's probably because she receives a few more treats due to her being the smallest. But this has created a new behavior for Pepper in which whenever she sees a human in piggy heaven, she comes bounding over, fully expecting some kind of treat. And even though most of the time she doesn't receive one, that never dulls her optimism. And of course, this behavior makes her even more adorable to passers-by. So you like Pepper Sanchez, do you? Do you like her enough to show all your friends? If so, get a Pepper Sanchez t-shirt or a Bear, Ginger, Hoshi or Piggy Smalls t-shirt. Want to be a bit more low-key? We've got you covered. Have a poster. Don't want a poster? No problem. Get a baseball cap. Baseball caps don't fit you. No worries. Get a beanie. Just go to leagueofpigs.com and make up your mind, please. The race begins and again Bear gets the best stop but Ginger's right there with her. Hoshi's also in the background. Ginger pushes Bear aside on that first corner and that sets her up well. All the pigs now quite bunched as they go along this first straight. Piggy Smalls takes a good racing line as they get to the tree and that has resulted in him overtaking Bear. Ginger all on her own. Nice to see a strong performance from this UK pig. Piggy Smalls however wants to spoil all of that as they go over the hedge. Did he do just that? No he didn't. Ginger manages to hold him off. And now that means that she retakes the lead, but this time she's not sharing it with Bear. And as this race is proving, there's actually multiple key points in this long race track. Of course, a pivotal moment is the hairpin at the base of the hill, but also the hairpin at the tree in the middle of the course is a key moment as Piggy Smalls proved, and he almost proved again, that there's a key moment as they round that final corner to the hedge. Pigs must keep that speed up, otherwise there's an overtake opportunity for those behind. 
It is the most important time of the show where we pay homage to the patrons. Do not be fooled by their normal sounding names. All of them are mad as a hatter. These are people that look at highly produced pig racing videos and they don't ask if there's a general plan or a direction the show's heading in. They just say, I want more of that. So whether they're the whales of the organization, such as the team principals or the chief engineers, to the vitally important pit crew and race marshals, all of them to a person strike from the heart first to keep this show going. And so of course, all of the picks and this league, thank you so much. It's a straight sprint to finish on. Piggy Sports, Ginger and Hoshi have the best starts. Piggy Sports cuts the space though, makes everybody else's life difficult as they go to this one. Step. Huge crash by Piggy Sports and Ginger. Huge pile up and Piggy Sports still recovers and takes the win. What a massive crash from both Ginger and Piggy Sports. Hoshi capitalises to get second place. I do not know how the American still managed to win after what a massive crash. His recovery was almost instant. So was Ginger's and they shook it off like true professionals. The physicality, courage and toughness mattering so much more here in the woodland than it ever did in the paddock. What a way to finish this mad round. And I want to remind the viewers at home, as always, there's never ever been an injury in the races and there never ever will be. Let me promise you that. While they look extremely cute, these pigs are warriors and they rarely get tested like this. But when they do, they more than rise to the challenge. They are much tougher than humans and it's showcased very well here. Well, Piggy Smalls and Ginger adapt to the new changes the quickest once again. Bear is looking a lot more dangerous than she did last season and the reigning champion Hoshi was in this exact same position in the first round of season nine. So anything can happen. Well. It's looking unlikely that Pepper will win her double championship, but we have seen miracles here before. For now, we just want to thank all of you viewers for watching, and we'll see you back here for round two.